Hi, I'm John from Matches Music and welcome to our first in the series of our how-to sessions. Uh, it's tips and advice for musical instrument maintenance. So what are we going to do today? Uh, today we're going to look at replacing the string on a guitar. So the tools you will need to do this will be obviously a guitar string, a string winder if possible, not essential, some string cutters and also a guitar tuner. Let's start. Um, obviously we've got a broken string here, which we can see hopefully on the camera. Um, what we need to do is remove the old string, first of all. Now, on an acoustic guitar, we have a bridge pin here that holds the string in. So to remove this, what we're going to do is just use our cutters and place them under the shoulder. Just put that string here. And we're just going to lift it up. And that means that we're not going to break the tip of the bridge pin. It can easily be done if you start taking things like pliers or something like that, don't do that. Use one of these. The, the blades here underneath will just lift the shoulders of the bridge pin. So now the excess of the string with the ball end is out. We can lose that. And then we need to remove the string from the tuning post. So that's simply just unwinding that like so. Just discard the string. That's no use to us now. Okay. So to replace the string, we need to take our new string that comes coiled here, unwrap it, and we have a ball end at one end here. Okay. So that part goes in to the bridge. Of the guitar. So we just place that in the hole there and then the bridge pin has a wee channel here. Okay now it's important that that is facing the saddle here and we just press that in whilst holding this string upwards as well. And that pulls it in nice and tight. That ball end is nice and steady in there. So now we have that nice and steady, we need to then put this part of the string through the sound, uh, sorry, the uh, machine post. So let's just place this part of the string through the machine post. Now we've got the eye of the machine post just sitting here, it's facing me. What we do is we just push that through and pull it all the way. But the important thing is now is we need to allow for some slack to get some windings around the post. It's really important to have around two to three windings around the post. So how do we determine to get those windings? There's a simple little trick. All we need to do is place your finger where the top nut is. I find this useful. Some can measure it, but this is a real simple trick. And what I do is I pull it back to just pass the first fret and that will give me enough slack for uh, the windings to go down the post. Once we've got that we can then use our string winder and carefully turn the machine head around. Now the important thing to do here is you notice that I'm still holding the string. I'm kind of holding that with my fingers and my index finger is sort of pressing down. I want this part of the string to wind down the post. That's really important. We don't want it to exit from the top of the post. So if you can see, here's the excess. This part I'm keeping downwards. So as I wind, it's circling in a downward motion. We don't need to do any fancy tying knots in the string or anything like that. It's super simple. 
It just winds it down. Okay, so that's around the post now. And all we need to do is take our cutters and we just get the cutter as close to the post as we can. And we just snip the end and we haven't got too much excess left there. Okay, so now we've got the string on, that's on quite nice and securely. We've got a couple of winds around the post going down there. We need to tune the string to pitch. So we've now got, this is a D string, so what we're doing is using our snark tuner. So I don't know if we can see that closely. And we're just bringing it up to the pitch. pitch. Once it's two pitch we want to stretch the string in. So to stretch the string what we do is take our fingers and we can just lightly lift the string just put in a bit of tension and if we can just clip back to looking at the tuner now it will be flat so we can just tune that up again. And I'll give it another slight pull here. should be in tune. So the string's on, it's stretched in and in tune. And that is how to replace a string on a guitar. Uh, I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. Or alternatively, you can contact us in the usual ways via email, info at matchitsmusic.com or via the website or you can come in and see us in store. Okay, many thanks.